Hello everyone, I hope you are all in good condition. Welcome to Meet Me Party Rosie on Pero Cement Techno Channel, on this occasion I will explain about the important equipment of the preheater, in the combustion process in the kiln system. The preheater is a very important equipment in the clinker production process in the kiln system, because the clinker production capacity is determined by the type and design of the preheater system. Preheater system is a tower that reaches higher than 70 meter in height, which consists of several cyclones, 4 to 6 cyclone levels. What equipment affect the performance of the preheater system? Please watch this video to the end, so you can understand what we will explain in this video. Before we continue in this discussion, once again we remind to you, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe first so you can benefit from this video. There are several important equipment that greatly affect the performance of the preheater system, including, 1, cyclone preheater, 2, calciner, 3, preheater ID fan, 4, feeding system, cyclone preheater. The main function of the cyclone is to separate the hot gas from the feeding material. And this is an example of a double cyclone which is generally installed in the top cyclone preheater. The shape of the cyclone tube design is longer than the cyclone below. In general, the efficiency of the top cyclone is greater than 90%, or the dust returning to the raw meal silo is less than 10%. Top cyclone operating temperature for four stages of cyclone preheater, the inlet is around 600 degrees Celsius and the outlet is 400 degrees Celsius. For five stages of the cyclone preheater, the cyclone inlet temperature is around 550 degrees Celsius and the outlet is 330 degrees Celsius. And this is an example of a single cyclone type, which is generally for a level 2 cyclone to a level 6 cyclone below the top cyclone. The operating temperature ranges from 600 to 900 degrees Celsius. In general, the cyclone tube design is shorter than the top cyclone, but the diameter is larger. The inside of the cyclone is lined with refractory brick or castable, to protect the outer walls of the cyclone from high temperatures. And this an example of cyclones supporting components as part of the separation process, including, immersion tube or inner tube cyclone, flap damper cyclone, change over gate, dividing gate, and spreader box. Inner Tube Cyclone The inner tube is installed in the upper center of the cyclone, which functions as a channel for hot gas exiting the cyclone, and creates a centrifugal air vortex for the separation of hot gas and material. The dimensions of the size of the inner tube, greatly affect changes in the air vortex pressure and affect the cyclone efficiency. There are several types of cyclone inner tube materials, including, cast steel segmented inner tube, stainless steel inner tube, ceramic brick inner tube, and ceramic bar inner tube. All types of inner tube materials above, have advantages and disadvantages of each. The inner tube that is often damaged is the lowest cyclone, for example, deformation, loose plate and falling which causes cyclone clogging. If this is not corrected, it will interfere with the operation of the kiln. This is an example of an inner tube ceramic bar. This type of inner tube with ceramic material, is resistant to abrasive materials and high temperatures. And has been widely applied in cement factories, especially in the country of manufacture. Furthermore, the outlet cyclone flap damper, whose function is to regulate the flow of material from the cyclone, and to hold hot gases from below. There are two types of flap dampers, double flap dampers and single flap dampers. The working principle is that the flap damper will open if there is a material load that exceeds the pendulum load. And the damper flap will close when the material is empty. Next is change over gate and dividing gate. Change over gate installed under the cyclone chute, 
whose function is to change the direction of material from the cyclone to the calciner, or directly to the kiln inlet. The dividing gate, whose function is the same as the change over gate, but the difference is, that the material from the cyclone can be divided by what percentage goes to calciner, and how many percent goes directly to the kiln inlet. Next is the spreader box. The spreader box functions as a dispersion plate, or for spreading material from the cyclone outlet above it to the connecting duct of the cyclone, or to the calciner. The goal is that the spreading material more easily absorbs heat from the connecting duct or inside the calciner. As shown in the image below. Next is calciner. Calciner is a combustion chamber whose function is to burn fuel in the preheater. There are two categories of calciner, including 1. ILC or inline calciner. 2. SLC or separate line calciner. In line calciner, if you look at the configuration, it consists of three types, including, 1, ILCE calciner is a type of calciner that does not add tertiary air from the cooler. Combustion air in the O2 calciner is left over from the combustion process in the kiln. 2. ILCI calciner is a type of calciner whose tertiary air duct enters through the riser duct above the inlet kiln. 3. ILC calciner is a type of calciner in which tertiary air ducts directly into the calciner so that the fuel combustion process in the calciner is better than ILCE and ILCI. And then SLC calciner. Separate line calciner in terms of configuration consists of three types, including, 1, SLC calciner is a type of calciner whose air for combustion is from the cooler 100% through the tertiary air duct. Burner position is located at the bottom cone of the calciner. 2. SLCD calciner is a type of calciner whose air for combustion is from the cooler 100% through the tertiary air duct. The position of the burner is located at the top of the calciner. Downwards towards the riser duct. 3. SLCS calciner. This type of calciner is combustion air from the cooler, and the burner position is located in the cone at the bottom of the calciner. However, the outlet from the calciner enters the riser duct, so a slide gate must be installed to regulate the volume of hot gas coming from the kiln. ID Fan Preheater System ID Fan Preheater whose function is to suck air or hot gas residue from the preheater system. Then the hot gas from the ID Fan is used for grinding raw materials in the raw mill system, and used for grinding coal in the coal mill system. The Working Principle of ID Fan There are two types of ID Fan rotation speed, static speed and variable speed. For ID fan static speed, to adjust the volume of hot gas needed in the combustion process in the kiln system, using the ID fan damper opening. And for the variable speed ID fan, the damper is open 100%, and to pull the hot gas volume by setting the ID fan speed. ID fan capacity depends on the clinker production capacity, or ranges from, 1.4 to 1.6 normal meter cubic per kilogram of clinker. Feeding system. Equipment in the feeding system, including, silo discharge, air slide, bucket elevator, feeding bin, weighing feeder. Silo discharge, whose function is to remove raw meal from the silo, which is transferred to the feeding bin, through an air slide, airlift or bucket elevator. The working principle is, material from the raw meal silo is removed through the discharge gate, and there is aeration in the silo. The air of aeration in the silo uses a root blower, while for aeration the air slide uses a fan. As shown in the following image. Next, this is an image of the bucket elevator. Bucket elevator, 
whose function is to transport material from the air slide silo discharge and put it into the feeding bin. There are two types of traveler buckets, using a chain and using a belt traveler. Feeding bin, whose function is a equipment to accommodate the material, prepared for feed to the combustion process in the kiln system. And the feeding bin is equipped with a weighing device, whose function is to weigh the material, that will be put into the combustion process in the kiln system, according to the desired feeding set point. That was the description of the important equipment in the preheater system. If this video is useful for you, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to your friends who need knowledge about the cement production process. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next video.